All right, so we come to the next example. Identify the correct translation into logical notation of the following assertion. Some boys in the class are taller than all the girls. So we're talking about some boys and we're talking about all the girls and then the some boys are taller than all the girls. All right, so uh, when it says some boys, it means that there should be at least one boy and you can see it is consistent with this thing that you have this there exists X, okay, and this is in all the options and then you have boy X, which is fine as well. It's in all the options. So it tells you that there exists an X, which is a boy. So there is at least a boy and then you have to say that this boy is taller than all the girls. So that's why you see this thing for all values of Y and girl Y. So for all values of Y, if it is a girl, then you should have what? The boy should be taller than the girl. So what you can definitely get is there must be an implication out here. Okay. For all values of Y, girl Y implies that X is taller than Y or the that those some boys are taller than all the girls. So that should be, why can't we have an and here? Because what an and will do, it will, let, let's talk about this thing, okay? Let's talk about this and we'll see what the problem is. What is the problem with this and? Why can't we have this and here? Because what, then what it, what this thing is telling you, okay? What this little part is telling you in that case is that for all values of y, girl y and taller x comma y so this sort of tells you that for all values of y so y is always a girl and x is taller than y so like y could be anything but it's you know saying that y is always girl okay but this shouldn't be the case so what we should say actually is that if y is girl if y is a girl then then x is taller than y that's, that's what we should be saying like we cannot assume that everything in the universe is a girl so that's why we can definitely eliminate these ends out here okay with this for all you will always see that there is implication so the our correct choice choice should be from these two and then what you have out here you have implication and out here you have and so which of these is correct okay so if if a, if it is a boy x is a boy then in this case it is saying that this implies that for all values of y girl y implies then implies taller x y so in this case the correct option is this and and the reason is that with this implication there comes the the classical issue that we have with implication okay with implication p implies q is true even if p is false and q is true even in that case the implication is true so even if x is not a boy okay Suppose X is some weird thing, X is a buffalo suppose, okay? And that buffalo is taller than all the girls because this, this kind of, this implication gets true even when this boy X is not true, okay? When X is even not a boy. So that's, that's the problem with implication and that's why with these there exist X, you will always have um, this and and that makes, that makes this option D correct.